Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Sama from the Naqabi Diaries and I'm reading this book, The Ideal Muslimah, link in the description box, inshallah. So this section is the Muslim woman and her parents. She treats them kindly. And we've already discussed how it's obligatory to respect your parents and obey them as much as possible as long as they're not telling us to do anything which is haram. But also treating them kindly. We mentioned that as well earlier than in the previous segments. But subhanAllah, this is very important. And it's whether your parents are Muslim or not. So it's really, really um, a serious issue. And we shouldn't try to, um, you know, get out of it by making any kind of excuses. And yes, definitely there are some situations which maybe if you have um, a very bad relationship with your parents due to abuse or otherwise, you may want to keep your contact with them as minimal as possible. But still, whatever contact you do have with them, try to make sure that you keep it as honourable as possible. Because subhanAllah, these things are a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by treating somebody in a bad way because they've treated us in a bad way, is not befitting of the Muslim's character, subhanAllah, and especially when it comes to our parents. SubhanAllah, so it also mentions here, treating parents with kindness and respect is one of the essential attitudes of Muslim men and women. This noble attitude should be ongoing and should continue, no matter how complicated life becomes, no matter how high the cost of living rises, and no matter how many burdens or responsibilities a person has, subhanAllah. So we need to remember that in everything, as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us health and strength and life, that we should, inshallah ta'ala, be kind and treat our parents with respect as much as possible and to obey them as well, whether they are Muslim or not. Jazakallah khair for listening. I hope you benefited, inshallah. Anything that I've said which is correct is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anything that I've said which is incorrect is from myself. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.